Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to Gamerjib. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss what could be and what should be in a possible Little Nightmares 3 game. Now it's not too clear if Tarsia Studios has actually stopped working on anything Little Nightmares in the future. They might come back, but it still is clear that Bandai Namco does still have a hold on that property. So they might get like a new developer or someone else to take care of that property and maybe make a new game. So in this video, I'm just going to loosely go through a couple of cool ideas and things that I would like to see in A Little Nightmares 3. So when it comes to story, it's a little bit loose and, you know, it doesn't really need to connect with anything else. These are just some cool things like locations, enemies, or characters that I think would be really cool in A Little Nightmares 3 game. But also, you guys can comment down below as well what you'd like to see from A Little Nightmares 3, including characters, locations, and all that kind of good stuff as well. But before we start today's video, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into A Little Nightmares 3, what needs to be. So first off, the character you play as could either be Mono or Six, but personally, I'd like to see a new introduced character, much like the Runaway Kid from the Secrets of the Moor DLC. But don't get me wrong, if Tarsia or the other developer who may be working on this game can tell more story and they can actually extend the story from 1 and 2 with Mono or Six or just Six by herself, then that would be welcome as well. But regardless of which character you play as, I still think Little Nightmares 3 definitely has to have that creepy, unnerving, uncanny valley kind of aesthetic. And one way they could keep this is the new location that we find ourselves in. Now we've seen ourselves in a in the moor, in the creepy ship, we've seen ourselves in a creepy classroom, and also we've seen ourselves in a much larger cityscape. But one location that I think these new characters or Six and Mono could really fit in is a sinister suburban area. I think that they could really introduce a suburban area with a lot of character and a lot of places for our new characters to explore. It could really be a creepy, abandoned looking area with white picket fences and empty homes and a really off-putting feel that something is actually wrong here. But one thing that the player would notice is that all the bushes and gardens are actually quite maintained amongst everything that's all destroyed and dilapidated. This would lead us to a character that I would like to call the Gardener. I'd like to think of this Gardener character as a mix of the Hunter and a mix of the concept art from the Barber. So you could have a large scary character wearing overalls or maybe like a Greenkeeper's hat and a really disfigured face or something that just looks a little bit askew. And just like the Barber, a weapon that he could hold would be a big pair of Garden Shears. Now, I think this could be creepy and also lead to a lot of cool interactions and boss interactions as well. You could have the new characters or Mono and Six exploring a garden area and coming across his greenskeeping shack as well. They could really make some cool segments where you have to run away from the greenskeeper and escape his big garden shears. Also, one thing that I think would be a neat idea is actually the plant life coming to life and trying to attack you as well. So you could have things like vines or anything trying to grab at you. Much like these leeches from the moor, they could be their own entity as well, and they could try to entangle you and strangle you to death, which I think would be pretty creepy. The garden areas you explore could have a fair amount of interesting things to do as well. There could be a fair amount of puzzles and mechanics you could do, including swimming in a dirty fountain, doing puzzles with garden gnomes, or sneaking on the other side of a hedge whilst the gardener is searching for you on the other side. Something that could really be tense as well would be a giant pair of garden shears stabbing through a hedge whilst you have to narrowly escape the blades and platform jump to other ledges as well. The gardener could also have the ability to control his plants that he's grown himself, so he could have the ability to make them extend and try to grab you just like the vines or the leeches would. Another weapon that the gardener could use is maybe like an old fashioned poison sprayer that might affect the areas that you have to jump to, or it might stop you from going to certain areas since you can't actually touch the poison or you'd get affected. Now once you've escaped the narrow clutches of the gardener, another cool place that they could adventure to would be inside somebody's home, and more specifically, their kitchen. Now this is where we'd meet our second character slash enemy slash boss character, the mother. Now this character would be a typical 1950s looking character with a cooking apron, a spotted dress, curly hair, but a really unnerving face with a smile from ear to ear and big hollow looking eyes. 
Now this character will be similar to the chef characters from the Moor, but much faster and more alert. When the mother spots you, she could let out a horrifying shriek as if you're an unwanted pest or a rat in her kitchen slash home. The mother would be that kind of character to try and stalk you down and try and find you, either to harm you with a kitchen knife or crush you with a household broom. The area as well that you explore could lead to many puzzles and mechanics as well. In true 1950s style, the mother could set out some pies on the window sill to cool. These pies would be questionable as to what's inside them, but you could distract her by tipping them over and letting them splat on the kitchen floor, spilling all their gross contents. Now this could be an effective way to grab her attention while you're trying to do some other tasks or escaping from her home. Another interesting area that you could explore in the household could be the attic. The attic could be a really dark and dusty creepy place to explore and you may find out the dark sinister truth as to what happened to the mother's family. Another area you could find yourself in in the suburban setting of Little Nightmares 3 would be someone's backyard, but you'd soon realise that you aren't all alone in this backyard just by yourself. This brings us to the third character, the Hound. Now in the Little Nightmares franchise, you encounter rats, leeches, but that's pretty much the only animals that you really do encounter in Little Nightmares. I think the characters having to deal with a giant ravenous dog would be pretty interesting and really tense as well. Now this wouldn't be any normal dog, this could be like a deranged, creepy looking creature, something that fits in with the world of Little Nightmares. It could be a demonic creature, something very similar to a dog, maybe with like an exposed dog skull that's still connected to a fluffy dog body, something really off-putting and askew that would fit in. The Hound could do a really good job of increasing the tension and could smell you out and always be hunting for you so you always have to be on the move. The Hound could originally be on a leash and Mono or Six or the new character would have to unleash it for some reason to get to a specific place in a puzzle. Also what could be pretty weird and sinister is as vicious as this dog is, it still did have a name tag from once it was just a normal dog, say like Fluffy or something like that. I think that would be a really cool touch and really add to the ambiguity of this game. Also, you might find out that he's not just a solo enemy, but he also could be like the faithful pet to the gardener, which could pop up in this area again. Now how you'd defeat or battle Fluffy or the Hound could be that you'd have to get him back on his leash maybe, or lock him back in his doghouse, or narrowly escape over a fence as you escape his snapping jaws. Now of course the suburban area wouldn't be the full entire location of Little Nightmares 3, but I do think it would be a really interesting first or second half for the game. I think with the mother, the gardener and the hound, I think they would be pretty interesting characters to have and they would add layers to the game and also more to the story as well and what's happening in the suburban area. But regardless of what we get, these were just a couple of ideas that I had and some cool ideas for characters that I think would really fit in the Little Nightmares universe. And also regardless if we are going to get a Little Nightmares 3, I am still hopeful and all of us here at Gamergy would really love to see them tackle a number 3. Alrighty guys, that's all we have for today's video. If you enjoyed, then please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. And also, be sure to comment down below as well, telling me your theories and what you'd like to see, and where you think the Little Nightmares franchise is going to go. But anyway guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.